Hey students, welcome to our new channel, Learn From Experts. Through this channel, we will try to provide you exact classroom environment just like your teacher asks you some questions regarding your previous knowledge of the topic. They just don't directly come on the topic. Similarly, we ask questions and you need to answer the questions simultaneously. Right? You can also comment your answers in the comment section. So, I am Ayush Agarwal and today we will learn about Chapter 5 Assets, Spaces and Salts of Class 7. This is part 1 of this video. So, before coming to the topic, give me answers of some very easy questions. Right? So, let's get started. Have you ever used lemon toothpaste? Of course, we use it in our daily life. We use lemon for drinking lemon juice and toothpaste for cleaning our teeth, right? So the question is, how do they taste? How does lemon taste and how does toothpaste taste? Can you answer this? Absolutely. Very good. Lemon tastes sour and toothpaste tastes quite bitter, right? So, the question is, why do they taste sour and bitter? This question must come into your mind. That why does lemon taste sour and why does toothpaste taste bitter? Have you ever think about it? Always ask yourself why when you learn science. Alright, so this is our topic. Acid and base. The substance that tastes sour are because they contain acids and similarly the substances that taste bitter are because they contain base right so in order to understand in a better way let me give you a list of some edible items you need to differentiate them into how do they taste all right so there are some edible items find out how do they taste First come on the curd. Everybody knows that curd tastes sour, right? And how does grape taste? Grape also tastes sour. Oranges are also sour in taste. Similarly, vinegar. Vinegar are also sour in taste. Vinegar is generally found in pickles. And you know that pickles are very sour in nature, right? And what about toothpaste? Toothpaste tastes bitter, right? Cucumber also tastes bitter and lemon tastes sour as we have discussed earlier that lemon tastes sour and as the name suggests bitter got bitter got taste bitter, right? Everything's clear to you? Alright, very good. So can we differentiate these edible items into two groups? The items that taste sour and items that taste bitter. Of course, right? These are the sour items and these are the bitter items. Any doubt? No. Very good. So the question arrives to our mind. Then what could you name a group of sour food items? Like these are the sour food items. Then what could we call them? This question is very interesting. Then what could you name a group of sour food items? Acids. You heard it right. It is called acids. Right? The substance that tastes sour are because they contain acids. Alright? And the chemical nature of substances is acidic. So next time when someone asks you why does lemon taste sour? So, can you answer the question? Absolutely. The lemon tastes sour because it contains acids. Right? And the chemical nature of lemon is acidic. Right? Any issues? Alright. So, do you know where does the acid word come from? It is a Latin word. Acer. Latin is a language just like Hindi and English. 
Acer means SAR. Okay? Is it clear to you? So, let's come to the next point. So, acids are also further divided into citric acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, oxalic acid, etc. I have mentioned only three here. So, where does citric acid found? It is found in orange. Right? And lactic acid is found in curd. And tartaric acid is found in grapes and unripe mangoes. This you need to keep it in your mind. Alright? This is given in your NCRT book. Okay? So, let me give you a very interesting fact. Did you know ants and bees also release acids in our body when they bite? Here, the mosquito is releasing acid on your body because of which you feel itchiness. So, next time when a mosquito bites you, you know the science behind it. You know the mosquito releases acid on your body because of which you feel itchy on your body. Isn't it very interesting? Alright. So, we have understood about acids. Can I ask you some questions regarding acids? Alright. Tell me which one is the correct option. First one is orange tastes bitter. Lemon juice is acidic. Vinegar is bitter in taste. Or water is acidic in nature. Tell me the correct one. Have you answered? Alright. Let us check the correct answer. So, correct answer is second one. Lemon juice is acidic because it tastes sour. As we know that all the substances that taste sour are because they contain acids. Alright. Orange juice is bitter. This is false because orange juice actually tastes sour not bitter vinegar tastes sour not bitter so what about water water is neither acidic nor basic it is actually neutral in nature all right so moving forward what are bitter edible items as we have discussed earlier bitter edible items are Toothpaste, cucumber, bitter gourd. Right? Can you name some more bitter food products? Very good. I have mentioned here two options. Maybe your one is also correct. You can answer in the comment section. So I will check it. Broccoli and almonds are also bitter in taste. Maybe you cannot find the bitterness because of the low intensity of the bitterness present in those products. But actually almond and broccoli are bitter in taste. Alright, so the same question arrives. What could you name a group of bitter food items? Can you guess the answer? Yes, very good. Base. The substance that tastes bitter and feels soapy on touching are known as bases right and the chemical nature of such substances is basic right just like sour food items contains acids similarly bitter food items contains bases in them right one more identity to check the base is through touching it feels soapy on touching Right? I will discuss it in next slide. So, let me give you a very interesting fact. Did you know that the soap you bath, detergent you wash clothes are also basic in nature? Because when you touch soap and when you touch detergent, it actually feels soapy on touching. Right? Because of that, these are also basic in nature. Isn't it very interesting? Alright. So, we have learned much about acids and base. So, let me ask you some questions regarding bases. You need to answer them. Alright? Okay, tell me whether this statement is true or false. Lemon juice tastes sour 
because it is basic in nature. Is it correct or not? Give your answer. All right. So the answer is false. Because lemon juice tastes sour. That is correct. But the substances that taste sour are acidic in nature. Not basic. Have you given the correct answer? Okay, very good. So let us move to the next question. Tell me whether this statement is correct or not. The answer of this question is true. As we have discussed earlier that substances that feel soapy on touching are basic. Right? Have you remembered? Very good. All right. So here are the answers. So today we have learned about acids and base. So let us sum up what we have learned in today's lecture. We know that substances that taste sour are because they contain acids. For example, curd, orange, grapes, vinegar, etc. Alright. And the substances that taste bitter and feel soapy on touching are because they contain bases. Right. For example, bitter gourd broccoli, toothpaste, almond and etc. Right? So we can learn through this way that sour food items contains acids. Right? And bitter food items contains bases. Through this way you can learn. Alright? So this is all about today's lecture. In next video, we will learn about how to identify the nature of non-edible substances. Right? This is going to be very interesting. Because we cannot taste them, then how can we determine their nature? So thank you for watching. You can also self-evaluate yourself at your home. You can give 5 differences between acids and bases. That's all about today's lecture. Thank you for watching. This is Ayush Agarwal signing off.